District News for you with Uvalde CISD Superintendent Dr. Hal Harold. Dr. Harold, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Yes, sir. Welcome back. How are you? I'm doing very well. I'm, can't complain. It's been a good week. Yeah, and we're yeah. starting to see some nice weather out there. Nice, it's, cool mornings. It's very nice. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, last uh, Saturday's game at the Honey Bowl, it was a very nice evening. Once the yes, sun went down, it really got very nice. Absolutely. So talk to me what's going on over at Uvalde CISD. Uh, lots going on, Mario. There really is. And you know, a couple of things I want to start off with that actually happened yesterday. We had a tennis contest uh, here at the high school against Crystal City. The last time I checked on those Lobos and Coyotes, they were doing very well. And I anticipated very good. that they probably came out with a victory. And last night I went to the Honey Bowl and watched our junior high, seventh graders. Mm -hmm. It's always great to see the seventh graders in action and uh, lots of running around out there. <laughs> great. <laughs> and uh, cheerleaders, they were doing a great job. So uh, junior high, Morales Junior High, way to go last night. You represented very well. And I know our eighth graders were over in Del Rio. And I'm sure they did very well there as, as, as well. And tomorrow night, we go to Laredo, our varsity and band and high steppers. And I do have to give a little shout out to our band. They, they are doing a great job. Their drill, their march on the field, uh, their, the volume, the sound is sharp, mm -hmm. it's crisp. Yeah, very one sound, yeah. Yeah, I'm very impressed with our band. I've, I've got to give them a, a big shout out. And the high steppers, they uh, do an amazing job. Yeah. I'm really impressed with all those groups that support the Coyotes on Friday night and Saturday night. Well, but, you know, uh, they... It, it, they it Put on brings, a good show. It, exactly. You know, you can't have a football game or a parade without the marching band, and it's awesome. They they bring the spirit to the crowd, yes. and they bring the spirit to the game. They really do. Or those it's, pep rallies and the stuff. Pep rallies so, as well. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a so, lot of exactly. fun when they when the band takes uh, takes the lead. It's a lot of fun. So uh, that I had to give them a shout out. And parents, I want to remind you. You know, if uh, after school our ACE program, it's mm -hmm. in full motion. If that's something that uh, you found in your world that you need that support after school, uh, sign them up. We'll absolutely, we'll absolutely take them. And, uh, it's and that's great. a Monday through Friday Monday program. through Friday. That's an, Absolutely. That's the difference from last year. It was Monday through Thursday. This year, Monday through Friday. So tonight we've got a freshman and JV uh, football game at the Honey Bowl. So community, if uh, you're looking for something to do, we've got something for you to come and do. And parents, I want to, especially of our seniors, I want to put something on your calendar on saturday september the 25th that's not this saturday a week from saturday carol brewer is going to be hosting an apply texas workshop at okay. the high school at the library from uh, i believe it's from 10 a.m to noon and uh it's time for our seniors to really be starting to think about applying and uh, applying to college if that's the direction they want to go so uh, pace yourself don't wait to the very end uh, Pace yourself, get in there, parents, get in there and ask those questions. We're here to help. And if you don't know how to get a hold of Carol Brewer, call us at Central Office, 278-6655, and we'll be glad to get you in touch uh, with Miss Brewer in the high school. Great, yes. And Flores today, Flores Elementary, we've got their open house. It starts at 5 to 7. Mm -hmm. So parents of your 5th grade, 6th grade students, you know, come, on, come on out and come visit with the teachers and see what's happening at Flores Elementary. So as I kind of move through a little bit, uh, we're going to talk about Schoology, and oftentimes parents want to know what I can get from Schoology, and it definitely is schoolwork and grades and many things along that way. But there's also a lot of school uh, campus activities that go on. Yesterday morning at 7:45, I logged on to Schoology and watched Dalton do their pledges live, mm -hmm. do their. Uh, uh, the birthday band. If you oh. haven't seen the birthday band, it, it's not. pretty cute. It is. So every day at 7:45, uh, log into Schoology. If you've got the uh, the app and mm -hmm. the log in, and Natalie's going to talk to us about that. But you can get a lot of information other than just uh, grades and attendance yeah. and those things like that. But Dalton did a great job yesterday. We had a great little drummer yesterday <laughs> at, at, well, in the birthday band. He, nice. He kept, he kept beat going. He sure <laughs> did. He's going to be a future. Uh, drummer for the, the marching band. I'm you got certain. it. <laughs> All but right. I do have Natalie Audius here today. She's going to talk to us a little bit about Schoology and parents, uh, what they need to know. All right. right. Yeah. So we distributed a survey. We're trying to find out from parents um, if they're able to get connected to Schoology and if they're not, what the barriers are. Um, so if you go to the district website, we're encouraging parents to fill out a, a parent survey. And thank you to those of you that have already done that. It got distributed on Monday, and we've already had a lot of responses. 
that's really helping us kind of figure out exactly what the community needs. Um, and one of the one of the questions that keeps coming up that I wanted to address was, if I already have Skyward, then why do I need Schoology? Mm -hmm. So Skyward Family Access is our parent application for viewing and monitoring students' official grades and attendance. Schoology is our learning management management system, so it's like an online classroom. Uh, when students have learning activities in Schoology, you can see the actual tasks that your child completed. Not all learning activities and assignments are done in Schoology. Some are still done on pen and paper, so that's also a concern that comes up sometimes. But really, the benefits for parents are that Schoology can give you a closer look at your students' learning and progress before progress reports and report card terms come out. I see. And uh, right now, you're kind of guiding, uh, directing parents to get over to the school website to yes, uh, fill out this uh, this uh, survey. Mm -hmm. And uh, like you said, to see what is the hold up here and what right. we can do to improve to get parents to, to get them logged into Schoology, correct? Right, yes, sir. So on the district website, if you scroll down to the bottom under news and events, that's where you can find the survey. But there's also a little Schoology icon on the home page that will take you to a page that gives you information for students, parents, and staff. So there's a link for parents. There's also some parent guides, step-by-step -step instructions. But if you're having trouble, just reach out to me or my partner, Margaret or Tarski Rodriguez. You can email us at bl at uvaldecisd.net. Let us know, hey, I'm having trouble getting connected to my student, and we can go in and manually make that account. Um, it's just Sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it, I think, in the end to get all our parents and students connected. Now, are teachers uh, updating this on a daily basis? How does this work? It's going to vary by grade level. So 7th okay. through 12th grade, we're definitely going to see a lot more activity in terms of in the online classroom. Um, at the lower grade levels, it, it varies. You're going to see a lot of campus involvement. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think what you're going to kind of see is sort of a gradual release, right? The younger kids, uh, the teacher does a lot more in the classroom with them, and then they're communicating with parents mostly on Schoology. And then as we get, you know, as the kids get bigger, then we start to see a little bit more of the teacher's interactivity with students on the online classroom. Well, great. Uh, parents, again, that website is uh, ucisd.net. That is ucisd.net. Natalie, thank you so much for filling us in on that. Thank you for having me. All right. Dr. Harold, thank you so much as well for Absolutely. coming by. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Now you're fixing to do the COVID update. Now I just want yeah. to remind well, parents. Uh, talk to me yeah. about that. Yeah, just. We're going to continue our protocols, and you know it's going to be a community partnership to get past all this. And yes, we are having cases, uh, you know, still in our community and, and on campus. Right. But uh, we're continuing our cleaning protocols. Uh, parents, if you want your child to wear a mask, uh, please have them do so. Uh, we continue to clean and wash our hands and practice all those good hygiene things. But also, again, uh, we don't have the screening prior to the start of school each day. But parents, I, I do. I hope that you are right. checking your student each exactly. and every day you to know. make sure they don't have fever before they leave the house or feeling different than they yes. normally do. And that's our, our children don't get it to the degree a lot of parents or, or adults do. But nonetheless, you know your child, and we're yeah. all here to keep your family, your child safe, and all our children safe. So Absolutely. And, and mama knows, right? Mama right, knows. Natalie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, but thank you. Yes, parents, uh, like you said, if you uh, if you want the child to wear a mask, you're, they're more than welcome to. Absolutely. All right. Well, speaking of numbers, uh, we'll get right into that here in just a moment. Uh, thank you, Dr. Harold. Thank you, Natalie, uh, thank for you. stopping by. Thank you all for all having right. us. Thank you. All right. It's Coyote Country 104.9 FM.